Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. My name is Jason. Thanks for checking out the channel today. Super excited to show you guys this brand new solar panel from Booz RV. This is their 100 watt 9BB monocrystalline panel. Now there are two differences about this panel versus their previous version, the 5BB. Let me go ahead and explain how they differ. So on this one, you'll notice there are much more cells in each line. These are called half cut cells and they're supposed to increase the performance in partial shading. So we'll go ahead and see how that does with real world testing. The next thing you'll notice is there are much smaller bus bars here. Instead of having five, it has nine. That's why it's called the 9BB. And having smaller bus bars uh, allows it to have less internal resistance and more efficiency. So this solar panel is slightly smaller and slightly less weight than the previous generation, yet it produces the same power. So pretty excited to see how this performs. Let's go ahead and take this outside and see how it does. Okay guys, I have the panel outside. I'm excited to do some testing on it. Let's go ahead and show you how to get the proper angle using a can. Okay, so you actually have to use the great value green beans with no salt added for this to work. But what you do is you put it on the solar panel and you line up the solar panel until the shadow disappears. And once the shadow disappears, you know it's lined up perfectly at the sun. Now the easiest way to set up the height on a glass rigid panel like this is by using a piece of wood. Now this is just a two by four cut to about 18 inches. Now in my first test, I just have the MC4 connections from the solar panel adapted to an eight millimeter adapter so I can charge my EB70. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we get. Okay, so we're getting right around 91 watts into the EB70 from the solar panel. So now I wanted to try a different power station. So I have the MC4 connections coming into the eight millimeter barrel jack on the side of the UPES 600. Okay, so with the plugged in, we're seeing right around 87 to 85 watts, kind of jumping around a little bit, but a little bit less wattage on this power station versus the EB70. So looking at the solar conditions today, it's right around 70 degrees. We have a little bit of high clouds and haze, so we're not gonna see perfect output today. Now there are so many factors that go into how much power you get from your solar panel based on how it's angled or facing the sun, the actual temperature outside, how hot the panel gets, because as it heats up, it will lose efficiency. And then of course, the conditions in the sky. You know, if you have any haze or clouds, it's all gonna affect it. So this video was just to demonstrate how much power you can get on an average day with multiple power stations. Let's go ahead and try my DIY battery setup. Okay, so let's go ahead and test the solar panel using my Blue Sky MPPT solar charge controller on my 100 amp hour DIY lithium battery. Okay, so without the solar panel connected to the battery, we're getting 21.29 open circuit voltage. Now I just hooked it up to the battery. We're getting 17 volts around five amps or right around 86 watts of power. Now I saw a brief 89 watts, but you can see it's very similar to the EB70. Now I'm sure you guys have been hearing these chickens in the background. They just all want to get out and have some fun today. <laughs> so this is the run and uh, some feeders that I built in water and then my actual coop uh, with some insulation foam because we still get pretty low temperatures at night right now. But I will have a video for this uh, in the future on the channel, guys. I know it's been a while, I've had it for a year, but I will put that video out. Yeah, we got three eggs in there right now, pretty awesome. And uh, one more laying right there. So that's why we do it, guys. Fresh eggs, delicious. Okay, guys, it's a little bit later that same day. Same conditions, just a little bit of haze. And now I want to do some partial shading testing on the solar panel. So the sun has rotated a bit, so I've adjusted it. Let's go ahead and see what we're getting right now, and then we'll try putting some shade on it. Okay, so we're getting 90 watts input charging right now from the solar panel. Let's go ahead and try to put something in front of it to cause some partial shading and see what happens. Now, I forgot to mention I have an inline watt meter just tracking the voltage on this. I want to see what happens when uh, we get some partial shade. So we're sitting at 17.56 volts. So let's put some shade on and see what happens to the voltage. Okay, so here's my first test with partial shading. Just putting a two by four straight across the solar panel here. Let's see how much wattage we're getting now with that in the way. Okay, so with the two by four in front of the panel, we're getting 43 watts charging. So pretty decent partial shading results, simulating a branch going through the solar panel. Now with the partial shading, we're getting actually a higher voltage and less amps. We're getting 19 volts at two amps. So interesting how the power changes. Okay, so I've added a second two by four to simulate more partial shading. Now I'm expecting to get pretty much zero wattage here. Um, let's go ahead and see what we're getting on the EB70. Okay, so we're actually getting 25 watts. So still getting power out of this, even though I have two two by fours sitting in front of the solar panel. Okay, so there you go. Lots of testing with the solar panel, both in full sun and also with partial shading. Pretty good results. Let's go ahead and take it back inside and finish up the video. Okay, guys, we're back inside. What do you guys think of those solar testing results? 
Now, I was pretty impressed with the partial shade testing. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a second to talk about these uh, technical specifications for this panel, the size, the weight, the price, things like that. Um, let's go ahead and start with price. Now, there's two ways to purchase this panel. The first way would be on Amazon. Now, it's currently listed at, I think, $104 with a $6 coupon. So you can pick this up for $98, which means it's cheaper than a dollar per watt on Amazon. You can also purchase it on their website for $128. And I have a 13% off discount code that brings the price down to around $112. So um, I'm sure the price on Amazon was, will fluctuate. So always pick the best price that uh, you can find, whether it be on Amazon or on their website. Now this panel does come with a 25 year power output warranty. And how that works is uh, at the five year mark, you should be seeing around 95%. At the 10 year mark, you should be seeing 90%. And at the 25 year mark, you should be seeing at least 80% of the original output. And so if you have any issues with that, you can reach out to Bouge RV. Now what's really nice on the back of the panel, there's actually contact information. So you can just jump right in, uh, see their phone number, email address, or their website. Now speaking about the back of the panel, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the power output specifications. So the max power is gonna be right around 100 watts. Open circuit voltage is 21.4 volts. Max power voltage is gonna be 18.15 volts. And max power amperage is 5.51 amps. So I mentioned earlier that this is one of the smaller panels available that puts out 100 watts. Let me go ahead and show you how I found that. So this panel comes in at 39.17 inches by 21.26 inches. So it comes out to be 832 square inches. So remember, 832 square inches for this panel. Ren & G's 100 watt panel is very similar to this. Comes in at 848 square inches, so a little bit bigger. HQST's 100 watt panel comes in at 858 square inches. New Power's 100 watt panel comes in at 893 square inches. And Ridge Solar's 100 watt panel comes in at 932 square inches. Now, what's really important with solar panels is the amount of space they take up and the amount of power they produce. You only have a limited amount of space in your area to produce power. And so the most compact, efficient solar panel is gonna be the option that you wanna go with. I think I failed to mention that this panel came in at 17 pounds as well. So it's pretty easy to move around with one person. You don't need two people. When they get up to like the 200, 300 watt panel range, they're not gonna be portable at all. And you kinda of need two people to move them around easily. So this one still I would consider a portable panel. Now, a lot of people may ask, when do you wanna choose a glass rigid panel over a portable folding panel? And if you're looking to use a panel every single day of the year in all weather conditions and you want it to last for 25 years, you're gonna to wanna to go with a glass rigid panel. Now, if you're looking for a really portable setup and you're not gonna use it that often, then you'll wanna go for um, you know, a folding panel uh, that uh, you've seen on my channel before. Now for weatherproofness, there's nothing that can compare to a glass rigid panel. These are 100% waterproof. They can withstand basically any weather conditions uh, just fine. You just spray them off and they're good to go. So you gotta be thinking, you know, which way do you wanna go? Cause you can either choose to go with a glass rigid panel and have the durability and longevity, or you can go with the portability of a folding panel. Now everybody's use case is a little bit different. So just keep that in mind. What works best for you may not work uh, best for someone else. Now, if anybody already owns one of these panels, the 100 watt 9BB, or maybe even one of their larger 9BB, uh, solar panels, throw a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about it and what your efficiency numbers are. Do you like the power output? Share that with everyone else so you, they can know your experiences with the solar panel. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a fun video to test this out. Hopefully you guys stick around and subscribe to the channel to see other future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.